Today I think we should talk a little bit about living heavenly perfection. Now, that means that we have to live according to the heavenly will of God in everything that we do. And Jesus told us that we are to be perfect as our Father in heaven is perfect. Now that's a commandment in my opinion. And yet, Paul says that all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. And somewhere in there, there's some harmony. And it means, I think, that we will all sin to some extent because we live in a sinful world. But as far as we are personally concerned, we will not knowingly do anything against the heavenly will of God. And that means we won't know, nor, uh, we won't knowingly do something that will cause harm or suffering or death to any other living being, whether they're human or animals. We just can't be involved in that. And that means we can't support it. We can't buy the products of that kind of suffering. We can't support it with our money. We have to live in such a way that we reflect the heavenly will of God totally here on earth as it is in heaven to the utmost ability that we have. Yes, we'll have accidents. Yes, we'll step on bugs. We may even hit a, an animal with our car unknowingly because they dart out in the road in front of us. But that we won't do something that we knowingly cause harm to another living being. We're going to live in this compassionate, empathetic way that reflects the heavenly will of God and Jesus' teachings. People try to say all kinds of things about Jesus, but if you really read what he writes and what he says, like on the Sermon on the Mount, you can't cause suffering or death and and meet those requirements like the Beatitudes. You just can't. And we need to look at things in that kind of light and we need to feel the pain and suffering of the whole of creation without excluding anyone or anything. It even includes the physical earth we live in. If we know we're causing pollution or suffering or something because of what we're doing, we shouldn't do it. Amen.